guys, can you be here, cities and suburbs? Quick video for you tonight on the 12th of uh, July, Friday night. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you all had a great week. And the Worcester Red Sox today, um, <clears throat> actually yesterday, uh, broke ground on the old Wyman and Gordon uh, site. And we'll do, we're definitely going to give a shout out to Wyman and Gordon and, and particularly their, their efforts as a manufacturer in aerospace and things like that. Uh, uh, and their contribution to actually, particularly in World War II, um, you can certainly, they're, they're noted in, Wyman and Gordon are certainly noted in the Worcester Historical Society. Uh, so today, um, we could say that the Worcester Red Sox are real, as on the 11th, yesterday, uh, July 11th, Thursday, July 11th, all the dig dignitaries were there to break ground on uh, the new home of the, well, call them the Tucker Red Sox, but they are the Worcester Red Sox now, and, uh, you know, hats off. I, I've been to a few games to uh, Pawtucket, and, you know, great city, great city, no different than Worcester, you know, no different than Worcester. Um, manufacturing, uh, town, big city, and, uh, but gr <laughs> between the two cities and the whole region, great lovers of baseball. But, uh, as a guy, I'm a Worcester guy. So, anyway, some fun for you. Um, in a post, watching a lot of The Walking Dead, have any of you watched The Walking Dead? Okay, and <clears throat> I've been watching zombie movies since I was uh, knee high to a grasshopper. Not you. Anyway, and I've always wondered in a zombie apocalypse, which is, I know, I'm just having fun with you tonight. Okay? Okay? Think about. Think about everything you see on TV compared to the top 10 largest U.S. cities and if you were trapped, okay? Number one, New York. Nine million people, let's round it out, okay? Fast-paced and energetic. Ooh, good luck getting out of there. All right. Number two, Los Angeles, California. We have four million plus uh, home to celebrities. Bill Murray, if you ever saw, uh, if you ever saw uh, Zombieland, you know, you know Bill Murray. You know, he bit the dust. Artists and free spirits. Los Angeles never stops attracting people from every corner of the globe. All right, cool. Uh, Chicago, Illinois, two million six thousand seven hundred ninety-eight people. Okay, let's just say three million. The Windy City, located along Lake Michigan. Maybe you'd be better off locating there. The zombies would freeze. Oh gosh, number four, Houston, Texas. Houston's stable job market, diverse economy, and ideal neighborhoods make Texas make the Texas city a popular choice for young professionals. Oh, flocking, ah, not so safe. Number five, Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, almost two million people um, surrounded by the desert, mountain, and numerous hiking trails. This actually may be a good place to head if there is a zombie apocalypse, okay? Because they're going to dry up in the sun and, you know, so you got to move north, you got to move south, so, right? Uh, Philadelphia, PA, get out of there, you know? 
Um, so yeah, we can just kind of go on and on, but where would you go? Where would you go? Okay, in a zombie apocalypse, what city, what state, where would you go? I mean, are we going north? You know, I hate the cold, um, but I know those dang things would hate it more than I would. <laughs> but anyway, just having some fun with you guys. Checking in with you. The Red Sox are back with playing the Dodgers right now. And uh, three at Fenway. It is, uh, again, it is July the 12th. Talk to you soon, guys. Let's go Sox. All right. Take care. Goodbye.